Hi, I'm Caroline Weilert, Vice President of Marketing at Valleycrest Landscape Maintenance. I'm at the BOMA International Show in beautiful Seattle, and I'm joined today by Ben Com, Managing Director at Cassidy Turley. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank thanks you for having for, me. Thanks for joining me. We're going to just talk briefly about a little sustainability, innovation, trends, um, and I'm interested to hear what you have to say. So you ready? I'm ready. Okay, great. So properties can gain an advantage through sustainability initiatives. Can you tell me what some of your properties have done in this space and what some of the results have been? Yes, we have transitioned approximately 15 buildings in Washington, D.C. Um, and made them lead accredited build buildings, lead certified buildings. Um, some of the results have been lower costs, happier tenants, and um, basically a, a, a marketing perspective that makes people feel good. Terrific. So let's take that now to the landscape and talk about how the landscape and sustainability contributes to your property successes. We actually have installed a green roof at one of our buildings. Um, so obviously landscaping folks were a part of the team that uh, installed the green roof and this this particular building won a, uh, a Toby Award in the environmental category so um, it's definitely improved energy energy expenses it saved us a lot of money from an energy perspective um, landscaping in general you know it's all about location location and curb appeal so we feel that the land landscape of a particular building not only the roof, of course, that no one sees, but the, the curb appeal of the building is particularly important um, from a property manager's and owner's perspective. Um, with the Toby Award winner, um, besides the green roof, what else do you think contributed towards uh, winning that? Well, it's, it was a lead building, uh, lead gold if I'm not mistaken. So we, besides the green roof, we put in all the other efficiencies that we needed to do, um, everything from uh, bike rack to um, energy efficient light bulbs and you know uh, uh, automatic lights, lighting in the space. Terrific. And then one final question. When you think about the future, um, what do you see as the emerging trends for the industry? Obviously sustainability, energy savings is, is the emerging trend right now. It has been for the past few years. It will be for a many number of years. Um, so people like me and owners and vendors like landscapers need to be in tune with all the, the issues and items that go along with making a building more efficient um, from an energy perspective and from a sustainability perspective. Uh, other trends are, you know, unfortunately the economy um, is, is, is is, um, is inhibiting our, our industry a little bit because owners are having to save money. And Although I've seen in Washington, D.C. that people are spending money to get buildings, to make buildings sustainable. So in that particular category, uh, they're still spending money. But there's going to be a lot of distressed assets that'll be foreclosed. So we have to be ready for that trend. Um, there's still a lot of money in the market. And there's a lot of uh, money, so cap rates are going to stay low, which, which means, um, well, there's going to be um, less turnover in buildings and so forth. So, um, and really, property managers like us have to be educated on all facets of real estate, whether it's financial, landscaping, janitorial, and sustainability, and everything in between. You have a lot on your plate. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, thank you for sitting down with thank me. Thank you. Appreciate it.